Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We begin our celebration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my you brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my ser servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on Eid forever, they and their children and their children's children. With my servant David, their prince forever, I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nations shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. 
The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror, shouting, They shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Please stand. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, what are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was a high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before the Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another, as they were in the temple area, What do you think? That he will not come to the feast? Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po muli sa ating lahat. Pragmatism is an ideology that many of our societies in this new generation is admiring or adhering to yung pragmatism. Ito yung minsan ina-apply natin sa mga society natin. At marami sa mga societies ngayon ina-apply ito. Ano ba yung pragmatism? This is an ideology that tells that the value or what is valuable is based on the effectivity of the person or of the thing. Ibig sabihin, nakafocus siya sa bagay na gumagana, bagay na nagko-contribute. Nagko-contribute saan? Sa adikain ng isang society, sa adikain ng isang kultura, o dun sa gustong makamit ng isang tao. That is pragmatism. Kaya nga, minsan, di ba, pag may taong practical, ang sinasabi natin sa kanya ay pragmatist yung taong yan. Kasi kung ano yung kung ano yung practical, yun yung valuable sa kanya, yun yung totoo para sa kanya. Pag hindi practical, ay hindi totoo yan. Now at some point, this is something very effective, lalong-lalo na pag we are aiming in producing many things. 
kailangan maging pragmatic ka rin talaga, maging practical ka rin talaga sa mga bagay-bagay, hindi ba? Kasi kung hindi ka magiging practical, magsasayang ka ng madaming bagay. But at a certain point, lalong-lalo na kapag ka naging radical, pragmatist talaga tayo, eh mahirap. Bakit? Bakit? Because it might pave the way of pwedeng neglect, pwedeng injustice, pwedeng destruction. Hindi lamang sa mga societies, but even to individual persons. Kapag ka nasobrahan yung pag-admire, pagkakuso natin dun sa classic ideology na yun, yung pragmatism. Sabi ko nga, yung ideology na yun, ang binibigyang halaga ay yung mga bagay-bagay na gumagana. Yung bagay-bagay na nagko-contribute. Yung bagay-bagay na practical. E ang tanong dun sa ideology na yun, paano naman yung mga hindi gumagana? Ano yung value niya para sa society? Para sa tao? Pag naging hardcore na tinatawag o talagang pragmat, pragmatist yung pag-iisip, walang halaga yung mga bagay na yon, As if they are nothing. No wonder why Abortion is an issue. Yung hindi pa sinisilang na sanggol, walang gana yan. Walang practical na halaga. Nothing. No wonder why euthanasia is an issue. Yung mga matatanda na hindi na nakakapagsilbi sa bayan, wala nang gana yan. Pwede nang i-euthanize, pwede nang patayin. Hindi practical eh. Palamunin lang, ika nga, sinatawag. Ganoon ang klase ng idealize, yung ideology ng pragmatist kapag ka napuput into extreme. At ito yung bagay na ipinakita ng isang pinuno ng simbahan sa ebanghelyo na narinig natin sa araw na ito. They were aiming in preserving their land and their nation, their possession in life. Now there is somebody was threatening this. And in a way, it was not practical. He was not practical. He was endangering what is benefiting yung society nila na tinatawag. Yung kanilang personal interest. Who was the threat? Jesus. Jesus. And so what was their decision? Hey, consider him as nothing. Now, if he exists, then make him become nothing by killing him. Oh, di ba? Pragmatist. Eh, kaysa naman magulo tayo. Iligpit na lang natin yan. Pragmatist. Di ba? Kaya delikado yung ganong klaseng ideology kapag ka napuput into extreme. At some point, yes. It's something very good. We become practical about things. But if we are going to apply it in all of the things in life, lalong-lalo na mismo sa buhay ng tao, magkakaproblema tayo dyan. Lalong-lalo na, lalong-lalo na, sa lungat na sa lungat ito, sa value na ibinibigay ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa ating lahat. Because if our God is a pragmatist, I don't know if we have value for him. I don't know if we are important to him. But since he is not a pragmatist, he is a loving God. We hear the words, we are, he is going to leave the 99 for the one who is lost. We hear the words, if somebody slaps you on the right cheek, offer the other one. We hear the words, love your enemies. 
these are not pragmatical things. These are not practical things. But these are the values that our God is giving to us and that He is hoping that we share it to one another. Yano naman yun, di ba? Ang unang nagmahal ang Diyos. Minahal niya tayo na walang paghuhusga. Hindi pragmatic yung kanyang tingin sa atin. Kaya nga kahit na sino tayo, kahit ano pa yung nagawa nating kasalanan, kahit pa ulit-ulit pa yung nagagawa nating kasalanan, mahal pa rin tayo ng Diyos. Kapag humingi tayo ng tawad, pinapatawad tayo ng Diyos. That He is even going to do everything to save us, to give us life eternal, life in heaven, the life of the Son and Daughter of God. Hindi ba ginawa niya lahat? Because of His love for us? Look at the cross. That is it. That is love for you, for me, for all of us. That is not something practical. But because He values each and every one of us, He's doing it. Because that is what is valuable for Him. Not what you can do. Not what you can contribute. But what is valuable for Him is who you are. And you are sons and daughters of God. That is your value. Kaya binibigay pa rin ng Diyos yung pagmamahal na yun. Not something very practical, but something very true with God. Now what is this for us now? Ano naman ito sa atin? I think this is a very good invitation for all of us to look at the values that we have in our lives. Ano ba yung pinibigyan natin importansya sa buhay? Ano ba yung valuable sa mga buhay-buhay natin? Are we some kind of a pragmatist person? Na kung ano lang yung practical, ano yung gumagana sa buhay ko, ay yun lang yung valuable. Kaya nga yung mga hindi na, hindi na practical sa buhay ko, alisin na yan. Siguro ito yung mga roots ng cancel culture, ano? Alin yung cancel culture na naririnig natin? Very, ano ito sa social media? O, nakapagka hindi na practical, hindi na ako interesado sa'yo, hindi mo na ako pinibigyan ng saya, hindi sabi hindi ka na effective, cancel. E minsan, ina-apply na sa tao, kapag ikaw, asawa ko, may asawa ka, hindi mo na ako pinapasaya, hindi, na, hindi ka na practical sa buhay ko, cancel. Kung ang religion ko hindi na totoo sa akin kasi nagdarasal ako at hindi binibigay yung pinagdarasal ko, cancel. Practical. Now it asks, what do we value then? What do we value then more? Our Lord and our God invites us to imbibe His value in life. And that is each and every one of us. As we approach the Holy Week, magsisimula na tayo bukas, isang napakagandang pagkakataon na makita muli, ma-inspire tayo sa pagmamahal ng Diyos sa ating lahat. That we may see that He does not see us in a pragmatical eyes but with loving eyes heart, with a loving heart and loving eyes. Na sana yung pag nakita natin yung pagmamahal ng Diyos na yon sa atin. It is also something that we can share to others. People who might, you know, feeling poor. Poor in many ways. Not just financially, but even emotionally. Even intellectually na nakita natin sila, dahil nakikita natin yung pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin, ay eh naibibigay din natin yung pagmamahal natin sa kanila. That we do not just cancel them, 
and say to them, you are not effective for me, then you are nothing. Yun ang ginawa ng mga pariseyo sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. And remember, remember, in each and every one of us, there lives Christ. So if we cancel a person in our lives today, it is as if we are living like the Pharisees, canceling Christ, saying the words, we should kill him because he is not practical to me. Are we that kind of person? Are we that kind of people in this society? Magsitayo po tayong lahat. Let us pray to God our Father that we may have the courage of Christ to face life and its difficulties, even death, for the sake of life and growth for ourselves and for others. In our reputation, let our answer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that non-Christians may come to know Jesus who died for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that separated Christians may show greater commitment to ecumenism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in authority may commit themselves to the service of truth and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all Catholics may have a special sense of belonging to each other through their common faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That mothers who lose their child may not be crushed by the weight of their problems. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we offer our personal and our particular intentions, and we also pray for the intentions of this Mass. God, our Father, who, by drawing the faithful together, has made them one body of Christ, send your Holy Spirit to draw your people into closer bond with each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. And as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of His saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through Him, the host of angels adores Your Majesty and rejoices in Your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and a chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign. Please kneel. We shall be praying the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Together we pray, Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. 
Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022, third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt, or you may visit our website, www.manawagminorbasilica.org, for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please stand. Bago po tayo magtapos ng ating misa, ako po ay magpapasalamat sa ating lectors, sa ating commentators, sa ating acolytes, sa ating Eucharistic ministers, sa ushers, at sa inyong lahat po na nakiisa sa misa ng ito. Maraming maraming salamat. Ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwit. Nawabaw ninyo po ang pagpapala ng ating Panginoong Diyos sa pamamagitan ng ating mahal na ina ng Biyernay ng Santo Rosario ng Manawag. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. And the, we shall now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick and the blessing of our rosaries and other religious articles. I invite everyone to please pray with me. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailties. Turn with kindness towards our brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oils, and other religious articles, our devotees and pilgrims, be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.